So one of the things that I do when I want to prepare um, a container for candles is I, I frequently reuse my jars. This is just a, a roasted red pepper jar. And so I want to go ahead and use this because I like the size, it's nice clear glass, and then it has a plain silver lid. So it doesn't have any identifying marks as a roasted red pepper jar. So it's perfect for what I'm trying to use it for today. And one of the things I need to do first is to remove my label. One of the tricks that I've discovered if you have a label that's a little stubborn and won't come off is if you just take a knife and you just make slashes in the label, it will allow the water to get down underneath the label, which makes it a little bit easier to get off. Now, obviously you never want to cut towards yourself. You don't want to stab yourself in the gut today. All we're trying to do is make candles, not do surgery. So I just make some cuts and then I just let that thing soak for a while. I'll come back and I check periodically to see, this is what I'm looking for as I'm looking for these watermarks and that will make it easier to get the label off. And I'll show you the next step for that label removal next. Okay guys, so as you can see, our label looks mostly uh, saturated. The water, it's been able to get underneath. So now we just need to peel the label off. And then I like to go over uh, where it was with a magic eraser. So I go ahead and submerge it down in the water. It just kind of makes it easier to get the label off. This is a stubborn one. My goodness. But I gotta have this jar. I just gotta have it. <laughs> I just love the size. And if I could get this pesky label off, it would be absolutely perfect for my candle. As you can see, the, the paper part of the label is coming off. That is some industrial grade adhesive I got going on underneath it. So I just rub it off with my finger. I'm sure there's probably like a real scientific way to handle it, but hey, hands are nature's tools, you know what I'm saying? So that's what we're using. You know, when I got married, Mr. Happy Hobby Homesteader and I, I used all repurposed jars in my centerpieces. My poor family had to collect their jars for me for almost a year. So this is just a magic eraser sheet. I'm gonna give it a try first and see if it if I can get this adhesive to come off. That's not working. And so I'm gonna go back to basics. What I'm gonna do, this is actually just a, a dry baby wipe that we had a box that never got used. I've never thrown them away because they come in so handy for things like this. And as you'll see, I'm using 70% rubbing alcohol and um, I'm just gonna have a go with this label. Alcohol usually does a pretty good job of dissolving um, adhesive. I'm gonna wet this down pretty well. I know, how could she be so frivolous with rubbing alcohol at a time like this? I gotta have this jar, guys. I gotta have it. I think it may be coming off. All right, guys, as you can see, this is a very stubborn label that I'm dealing with. However, it is coming off, slow but sure. I'm using uh, a combination of this sponge, the scrubby part of this sponge, my alcohol, and wet wipe paper towel kind of thing. And it's a slow process, but it is coming off. So if you run across one that is very stubborn, just be patient with your tools. They will eventually get the job done. 